Hi, welcome back to Home Time. We start landscaping today at Creekside, but I'll tell you there's still an awful lot going on, on the inside too. But we are ready for final grade and a little bit of hardscaping. So Russ Schmidt and his crew are getting ready to start on the retaining walls, which is always a good first step to giving some shape to a new yard. Inside, we're going to talk about a great way to save on energy costs, whether it's new construction or an existing home. And something going on outside of the house. When you put it on the roof, it doesn't stick to it immediately. It's activated by the heat of the sun. And then also it seals around the nails and fasteners when you actually screw through it. So we'll be inside, outside, and all around the house on this show. we got to keep moving. Stick around. Now we've seen enough heating and cooling installs to know that the guys work very hard to make sure that all the seams are sealed up with tape. But we also know that it's pretty hard to get to every single one of those seams. Leaks are bound to happen and we want to get ahead of the game by having the ducts sealed by injection from the inside. Now this is Joe St. Pierre. He's helping us out today. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Now a lot of people might think that brand new ductwork wouldn't have any leaks, but that's not necessarily true. No. I mean, as a matter of fact, duct, ductwork leaks 25 to 40 percent, according to the U.S. Department of Energy. That's a lot of leakage. Well now you're going to help us seal all those leaks up, so how do you get started? Well first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug all the vents in the house, which is what we are doing right now. Next, we're going to bring all of our equipment downstairs. We're going to cut a couple holes in the duct system. Okay. One on the supply, one on the return. That's how we tap in our equipment. Okay. Uh, over there is our machine that's set up, which is called the home seal machine. That's what we use to inject the sealant into the system. Okay. So you have a hole cut in your furnace, so how do you go about connecting up to the furnace? Well, once we've cut our holes in the ductwork, then we mount uh, some collars into the ductwork and we hook up the tube from the machine through a Y splitter. From that Y, it gets attached to these collars and that's where we pump the air into the duct system. So now, this isn't just for a new construction? Yeah, correct. It's actually for existing homes as well. Uh, duct systems leak 25 to 40 percent. It doesn't matter if it's 80 years old or if it's, it's eight days old. It's, it's the same exact types of problems. All right, now you have everything all sealed up upstairs, and you're going to be doing a pretest. That's right. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on the system, we're going to pump air into the ductwork, and we're going to find out how bad the system really does leak. Okay, well, I do notice that the system looks pretty well taped off. It may reduce the leakage a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if it leaks quite a bit. Let's find out. Let's see. Now, with the pretest, what exactly are we looking for? What are we going to see? What we're going to do is we're going to find out how much the system leaks. So what we're going to do is the computer is going to go on, it's going to pump air into the system, we ran a tube upstairs and it's going to measure the pressure up there as opposed to the pressure down here. At that point it's going to be able to tell us exactly what we're leaking out of the system. And every single one of the leaks in the system, that's energy loss. This is going to be the best way to not lose energy in your home, right? Absolutely. Number one thing you can do in your home to save energy on top of doing windows or doing insulation because all that air is not making it where it's supposed to go. So now it looks like we're still losing quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, despite the fact that we foil taped the house and we went ahead and sealed all the joints as much as we possibly could ahead of time. Right. I just found out that this uh, house is still leaking 66 square inches of, of air. I mean, that's equivalent. That's huge. Yeah, that is. So now it's time to seal it up, right? Oh yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so what's the first thing? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the sealant in the machine. We're okay. gonna go ahead and get the system to the next step and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the compressor. And we're gonna get the system powered up and ready to start sealing. All right, so how does this work? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sealant and we're gonna inject it into the system from the inside out. So it's gonna find all those holes? It's gonna find all those holes from the inside out and it's gonna seal them up tight. So what exactly is it that you're spraying in? Well, the material is called vinyl acetate polymer. Let's break it down. It's the, it's the main ingredient they use in chewing gum, uh, hairspray, it's a non-toxic water-based material. And then how exactly does it work? Well, the machine took the liquid and it atomized it, so it turned it from a liquid to a vapor. And that's what allows us to send it through the duct system from the inside out. So as the material goes through, it actually does not coat the ductwork, it only builds up and collects on the edges of the holes and finally creates those seals. Okay, so we're done. You're doing a post-test now? Right. We've gone ahead and we've sealed the system, and then now what we're doing is we're running it through a post-test, just like we did in the very beginning. Okay. So where are we at? Well, when we initially started, we were leaking 348 CFM of air, which is equivalent to a 65.8 square inch hole. That's where we started. Okay. Now, post-sealing, we got it down to 7.8 CFM of leakage, which is equivalent to a 1.5 square inch hole. Wow, that's huge. Absolutely. You've really sealed up all those little holes. 
Yeah, and by doing that, what's going to end up happening is now we're going to get more comfort in the home. Secondly, we're going to increase the quality of air in the home. Now I'm not going to be pulling all the poor bad air out of the walls anymore. Last but not least is the energy savings. Typically, by having your duct system sealed, you can save anywhere from $250 a year to $800 a year by having this process done. Wow. Now, you said before that a furnace is only as good as its ductwork, right? Absolutely. Now that we know what the system was leaking and then we know what we got it down to, now this furnace system can operate as it was designed to exactly. operate. Exactly. The most efficient way it can do it. Absolutely.